Holy cow, guys. This mail call is going to be epic. Well, we have a lot of packages to open today, guys. A lot of packages. And I want to thank everyone for your generosity and the package you sent. I try to do my best to incorporate as much of your package in the video as possible. Obviously, it was 17 in one week. I would have either have had to put off some of your openings until another week or cut this into several videos. And I didn't want to do that. I try to keep it as it, as it is a Sunday shout out. Hopefully, everyone's happy with how I presented their, their packages. Uh, the generosity is just too much. Thanks again, everyone. And have a happy rest of your Sunday. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and we've got a ton of packages. The support in this community is growing and um, yeah, we've got envelopes, we've got boxes, we've got padded envelopes and then I've got these three over here because these are from live streams. I've got uh, from SilverSeekersCoolStacks.com, Midwest Coin Hunter Stream and Digging Days. There's so many guys, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. So up front, I'm gonna let you know that everyone's channel link that I can find will be listed below in the description and in my first pinned comment. Outside of that, we'll do the best we can to get as many of these coins shown as possible. Please bear in mind with 17 packages, and I mean, it's amazing, but I'll do the best I can to show as many finds as I can. All right, guys, first up is Diggin' Dave. Diggin' Dave's got a YouTube channel with coin roll hunts and live streams. These are part of a live stream that I won, uh, that I donated to and won some cool coins. He even doing some extras, I can tell, but here's his note. Hey Rob, this is Diggin' Dave. These are some of the coins you won from one of my live streams. Just wanted to say, love your videos. Make sure you keep watching my videos and live streams. Have a great day and happy hunting. P.S. I added a few extra coins, Diggin' Dave. So we got some nickels here. Let's take a quick look at them. A 58. A 41 and a 56. Awesome. He also gave me a bunch of Wheaties from the 50s and 40s, a couple of 1920s Wheaties, and a cool foreign coin. Looks like it's from Yuraka. Awesome. He also gave me a 1900. Ooh. Oh, Morgan dollar. That is nice. And then on top of that, looks like we've got a capped bust half dime here and that has to be 1832 because if i recall they were 1830 to 1836 or 37 i'm not a little rusty on the capped uh bust dimes half dime sorry but uh yeah we'll take that all day as well 89 percent silver for that bad boy so digging dave man thank you very much cool coins didn't have a 1900 morgan dollar didn't have a capped uh bust Half time, so that's cool, and some good Wheaties as well. Guys, check out Diggin' Dave's channel, it'll be posted below. All right, next up is Midwest Coin Hunter. Guys, he does live streams, he does uh, coin roll hunting searches, especially for that silver. He does a, a lot of great dime and half dollar hunts. Please check out his channel, it'll be below. On his live stream, I happen to get lucky enough to win a 68 and a 67, 40% silver, half dollar. Look at these, beautiful. Not much better sounding than silver, huh? So, Terrence over at Midwest Coin Hunter, man. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate the, the coins. Love being on your streams. Love watching your vids. His channel link will be below. All right, guys. Next up is Silver Seeker. If you guys don't uh, watch Silver Seeker's videos on his awesome silver collection, as well as his uh, live streams, you're missing out. His live streams are awesome. What I love about Silver Seeker, he wrote me a note and I'll read it in a second, is he also slabs his own coins. And what's cool about it is when you have a personalized slab from him, all you have to do is go to his Silver Seeker uh, website, which is coolstacks.com, and you can pull up your serial number and get even more pictures of the silver coin or silver round that he sent you. So awesome. That being said, let's read what he wrote. Rob, I sent you another Silver Seeker slab. Again, you can check out the serial number on my website, www.coolstacks.com. Guys, check it out. You can also go to his site to purchase some supplies, purchase coin roll hunting mats. Pretty cool. 
He wrote to me, I can't thank you enough for being there to support my stream. I hope that you enjoy the items that I've enclosed. I genuinely hope to see you on future streams as well. Thanks again, Silver Seeker. Well, with packages like this, guys, you know I'll be there. Let's start off on what we got. We got this 1983 Englehard Prospector, one ounce of 999 fine silver. Great looking coin, and he slabbed it for me. So cool. We also won a copper round. Look how cool that is. I don't have any copper rounds. Now I do, and it's 0.999, pure, fine copper. We also got a 1950 Benji, Philadelphia Mint, a 1967, beautiful 40 percenter out of Philadelphia, and check these out, guys. In one of my $50 donations from his bag pulls, I got two ounces. Not only two ounces of silver, they're the Buffalo ones. Aren't these awesome? Oh my goodness. Talk about an epic stream with great prizes and giveaways. You gotta check it out. Silver Seeker, man, you're the best. Love your channel, brother. Love your streams. Guys, it'll be posted below. All right, guys, next up is Dustin Young. Dustin sent me a letter last week, so I wanna acknowledge that first. I didn't read it on the mail giveaway. I thought it was just a personal note. Dustin wrote, I have two copies of Steel Wheat Pennies, and the one I've sent is a 43. Here's the one for you to keep for your collection. There's also a Buffalo Nickel, and it's hard to see the date. There's also a 41D and a 58D Nickel as well. Your fan, Dustin Young. Dustin, I know you got a channel because you comment on mine quite a bit, so I'll ask everyone to check yours out. Dustin sent me a 1943 Steel Scent. That's really cool, and it's a Denver Mint. I already checked the Buffalo under the microscope. It's a 1915 Philadelphia Mint Buffalo. So that's a nice Buffalo nickel. Man, I appreciate that. There's only 20 million minted of those, so thank you very much. And then, we, of course, we have the two uh, 41D and 58D nickels as well, so I appreciate that. Dustin, man, thank you for your letter. Thank you for the coins. All right, guys, next up is Joshua Feldhacker. He sent me a package before as well. He wrote, hey, Rob, really enjoying your live streams. Hopefully this got to your P.O. box safely and wasn't jacked by the mailman. So I have several coins for you this time, a 59D with a double rim air, a 46S, a 51S, a 48S, and a 1970S nickel. I know you really like S Wheaties, so hopefully you like these. I found I had a few doubles of Wheaties I already had. The 59 is just a minor air, but still cool. Now, if you already had the 70S nickel for your book, you could give it away to a viewer who really needs it for one for their book. Thanks for reading, Joshua Feldhacker. And guys, Josh is awesome. This is the second time he sent me a package. He sent me this 1970S nickel. We've got a 46. Let me see if I get some better lighting on this for you. We got a 46S Weedy, a 48S Weedy, and a 51S Weedy. And on top of that, he threw in a 1959D, and it looks like I can see the double rim right here. So that's cool. Josh, thank you very much, good sir. If I have your information for your channel, I'll post it down below. All right, next package is from the Diecast Collector. I've covered a part of the note because it's a special note to me about some coins he's looking for, so we'll kind of cut back on that. But it says, hey Rob, first off, I want to let you know that your channel is awesome. It inspired me. I've been collecting for around two months now, on and off. I've never had much luck. However, a couple of nights ago, I stumbled upon your Wheat Penny Harvest, and it reminded me that it can be done. My favorite coins are Wheaties, so that's why it made me start collecting full time. Anyways, attached to this, I have a very special coin. I think it's from Spain. Anyway, my best friend Matthew uh, moved away and went to Spain. A couple of weeks later, he sent me a letter with this coin attached. I think it's time it gets a newer, better owner. Hope you enjoy. Wow. Wow, Diecast Collector. That's uh, I appreciate you sending me that coin. If you want it back, let me know, especially because it's from your friend. I don't know if I'm a better collector, but I do like to collect foreign coins for sure. And on the bottom he says, thanks if you read this, if you read this far, happy collecting. Of course I read this far. P.S. I've also included a 1971D uh, dollar and I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, 1971 clad nickel uh, dollar. And then also, I'm not that familiar with coins from Spain, but this is a really cool coin for sure. Wow. Really cool. I love coins with the holes in the middle as well. So, man, diecast collector. I'll make sure I put a link to your channel down below if you got one. Hopefully you do have one. 
Really cool that you're already collecting. I'm happy for you. Hopefully I can send you some of the things you're asking for down here. And uh, I'd love to send you out a package. Diecast collector, thank you so much for the gifts that you sent me. Next package is from Dallas S. Dallas S actually has a couple of channels mentioned in his letter. It's SNS Collectibles, and that's his channel for coin roll hunting. And it's Dallas S for playing Minecraft. He gave me both links, but I'll find those no problem now that he's given me the links, and I'll make sure I post them below. Dallas wrote, oh, that's cool. He wrote my name and my logo. That's so cool. <laughs> Dear Rob, love the videos. You are very good at what you do. I was coin roll hunting for my first time while watching one of your videos. The video where you found that 105-year-old penny. And my second from the last roll, I found an 1889 Indian head penny. It was cool. <laughs> I bet it was. Holy cow, 1889 Indian head penny? Great find. I sent you a 1958D penny, 39 penny, 35D, 35P, and last but not least, a 35S. You know I love those S Mint Mart Wheaties. I know you are looking for all the S pennies, so I hope this helps Dallas. It definitely does help Dallas. I've already arranged them in order. Check this out, guys. 35 Philadelphia, 35 Denver, and 35 S. We also got a 39 Philadelphia, and check out this 58D wheat penny he sent me. Unbelievably beautiful. Wow. Dallas, man, congrats on your find. I'll post your channels down below. Thank you for the Wheaties. Appreciate it very much. Guys, be sure to check out his channels Coin for coin hunting, SNS collectibles, and if you're into the Minecraft and gaming community, Dallas S. Guys, next up we have a package from DB. And DB, I just went ahead and looked at the list of coins you sent me. And uh, because your package had a small tear down here, and to be honest, we've got four coins left in the package. And it looks like you sent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. So unfortunately, four coins didn't make it in transit. And um, it is what it is. That's part of the deal here sometimes in mail. We get, we get packages damaged. So I apologize in advance um, for the fact that we're missing some coins. Let me go ahead and read your letter and run through what you sent me. To Rob Finds Treasure, to be honest, I don't coin roll hunt for coins, but a friend who does introduced me to your channel. I was hooked instantly. That's awesome. That's awesome. Your videos are very entertaining. I do have some coins from an old collection, however, that I'm willing to share with you. The coins included are a 1940p nickel. That's a 41. A 53 Canadian penny, which I didn't get either. A 41p nickel. That's that one. A 45 Canadian penny, King George VI. Dang it, we don't have that one. A 73 British half penny. That's this one right here. Awesome. I love half penny, especially because I only have a few of them. I kind of messed up 64 silver dime. You know what? That doesn't matter. That must be what this is, if I can pick it up. Yep. Hey, it's a silver dime. Awesome, DB. A 1983 P Crack Die US Penny. Awesome. I'll take a look at that under the microscope. Love finding the 83 P Crack Dies. A 25 cent Canadian King George V. Oh. The date should be under the 25 cents and right above the bottom flower. Please feel free to find a date. If it's 1911 to 1920, please send back. And if not, feel free to keep for your collection. DB. I don't have that coin in here. It must have fallen out in transit. So we'll never know what it was, unfortunately. And I don't have a 1911 to 1920 Canadian King George V uh, quarter to send you if I would have had one. So I apologize for that, DB. Um, not much I can do about that, unfortunately. But we still got four of the cool coins that you sent me. I appreciate that very much. And look at this. Enjoy your bonus dollar. Wow, a silver certificate. 1935A. I don't have any silver certificates anymore. I haven't purchased any. I haven't found any while I was bill searching. And the few that I had before I lost in storage, so I don't have any. This is my first silver certificate that I've got since I went back into coin collecting and bill, um, bill searching. DB, once again, man. Thank you for the awesome coins. I'm so sorry I can't find a date on this King George V and send it back to you. Unbelievable. Still, 
Great package. Thank you for your viewership. Thank you for uh, joining the coin community. I'm glad you got hooked. Hopefully you're starting to do your own hunts. If you end up getting a channel, please let me know and I'll post it in a future video. All right, guys, next package is from Mashfiq Mahadi. He writes, Dear Rob, I love your videos. Whenever I receive a notification, I stop everything and go right on watching your vids. Mashfiq, thank you very much. Close to 6K subs. Congratulations, that's awesome. We just hit it. Enclosed in this envelope are two Bangladesh banknotes. That's where my parents are from. That's way cool. They are 50 Taka. One US dollar equals 83.75 Bangladesh. Bangladesh banknotes. BDT is not as bad as Zimbabwe's currency, but definitely not as good as pounds. I have always wanted to ask a question. Do you mind all the comments I write? I hope not. No way do I mind your questions, Mashfiq. I think they're awesome that you even take the time to write me a comment. But really, I have written a lot. There are two packages on the way, two along with this letter. Ooh, okay. I think you should try to record when you're getting your currency denominations, like if you're in your car or drive through etc. Okay, I'll think about doing that. Here in Brooklyn, we have quite a number of banks, and he lists some of those banks. Which do you recommend? You know, I recommend the big three, Chase, B of A, and Wells Fargo, personally. But anytime you can get coins from a bank, it's a good bank. What are credit unions, by the way? Well, that's where you have to be a member at. It's a special set of memberships rules and guidelines are all different etc there's too many to name but bottom line is there's stipulations about how to join those and you have to be you have to have a reason to join them enough with the questions you might be thinking okay actually i'm not i love questions i hope you write me a letter back and thank you for doing so in advance if you do okay i appreciate that we'll see what i can do i've got your address saved so we'll take a look sincerely mashfiq mahadi 13 and he sent me a couple of bank notes from Bangladesh, so cool. I don't have any, I think I have one Bangladesh bank note, not this denomination. So I'll definitely add these to my collection. Thank you very much, Mashfiq. I appreciate it. And I'll be on the lookout for the other packages and I'll throw you a little letter as soon as I get a chance. All right, guys, next up is Derek Angler and he's from Derek's Coins. He sent me a package last week and he didn't include Derek's Coins and I didn't know that was him. So I apologize in advance, Derek. We'll make sure we get Derek's Coins link on this one for sure. Please guys, he sent me a 39D nickel last time and I failed to mention his YouTube channel because I didn't know it was him. So let's send him some love. Let's just subscribe to his channel, check out his content. Here's what he wrote this time and I'm out of breath because I'm just in awe. Dear Rob, so glad you enjoyed the 39D nickel. Heard you still ne are needing a 50D nickel. Well, I found one and would like to add it to your collection. Please keep up the good work on your mail call videos. I look forward to seeing what you get each time. My YouTube name is Derek's Coins. Sincerely, Derek Angler. Guys, <laughs> unbelievable. A 1950 D nickel. The only spot I have blank in my early Jeffersons. Let me pause the camera. Let me get this guy in there and let me celebrate the completion of the set. Check it out. The 1950D is in there. My early Jefferson set is complete. Now I just need to find the S mint marks for the 70s, 80s, and 90s to complete the set. I've got a handful of them, but not all of them. Man, and that will complete my 30, 2003. Derek, I'm still gonna be looking for a 39 and a 50D to say that I found them, but your, your coins definitely helped me complete it. And I thank you with all of my heart on this. I can't believe you handed me a 39 and a 50D nickel. Please give it up for Derek in the comments below. Check out his channel. Thank you, good sir. You're the best. Next up, I have a package from Jared McCulloch and Jared sent me a private note, wants me to read it off video, so I won't be reading that aloud to you guys, but he did send me a note and I'll go ahead and read it. Dear Rob Finds Treasure, hello, my name is Jared McCulloch and I'm 13 and I'm a very avid coin collector and you've inspired me to start coin roll hunting. That's so awesome. I have been watching you for about seven months now. I've included a 1959 penny, a 2009 penny, and a Canadian penny. I also sent three 55 and a 44 and was wondering if you could see if there were any errors and send them all back. Thank you, sincerely, Jared McCulloch. So here's the three that he sent me, the 59, the 09, and the Canadian uh, penny. 
I went ahead and checked these coins off camera. Your 44 uh, D, I did not find or spot any errors or varieties. These two 1955s, I couldn't find any errors or varieties as well. You do have on this 55, on the last five, you have a little bit of machine doubling. It's a known variety. It's not really worth much of a premium. Just the last five in the 1955 has a, some slight machine doubling around the bottom curve of the five, and that is on that one. So I guess my question is, Jared, I have no problem sending these back to you, which I will do if you want them all back. Technically, there's not much of a premium on them, so you let me know. Keep them for the collection, send them back, send only this one back. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like. Again though, Jared, I'm glad you started corn roll hunting. I'm glad you're collecting, and thank you for the package as well, and I'll be sure to read that offline. All right, that concludes the envelopes. Now we gotta move on to the few boxes and three packages. So guys, we have five more packages to get through. Let's see who's next. Next package is from Tracker Harlan. Tracker wrote to me, Dear Rob Finds Treasure, I've been watching your videos for two or three months and I love them. Thank you, Tracker. Here are some gifts from my personal collection from Tracker. Let's take a look at what we got here. In this first one, he sent me a bunch of uh, different types of airs. Look at this, 1970 D, a 1955, that last five's got some problems. A clipped planchet here. Looks like a lamination issue. And a grease, struck through grease air. So those are some pretty cool air varieties right there. I love that very much. We've got some uh, old Wheaties here. I'll pull those out in a second. We've got a 42 non-silver and a 60. 60D in great shape. That might upgrade in my book. We've got a counterstroke with a cross penny. Another one with uh, some lucky charms and a, a horseshoe and a four leaf clover. That's really cool. 2009, which you know I collect. Correction, it wasn't a 2009, it was a 2005 S. Couple of uh, proofs. I might need these for my set, or at least one of them, because that's an 04. I always take an 04, but we'll take a look, see if I need that one. We've got some foreign coins here, Canadian. We got a one centavo, 1960 from the Philippines. A token, a parking token. That's really cool. Look at that old uh, Ford on there. We've got a French coin. 50 centimes, 1913. That's silver. That's 83.5% uh, silver right there. Definitely take that. Thank you very much. A couple of 56 Wheaties, and uh, they're in great shape. And then check this out, guys. A stack of 69 S's. I don't have many of these. I'll be looking through these for any errors. Obviously, if you, if you accidentally sent me the big error, I'll let you know, but... That's really cool. And then let me get to these Wheaties and see what years we got in there. Tracker sent me some great Wheaties. A 39, a 29, an 18, and a 1914. Unbelievable. Wow. Tracker, great package, man. I'm going to have a, a, a lot of fun going through these, checking them out, especially the 69s, getting my nickel book thrown together, adding these to my Counter-Struck coins, Man, such such cool finds, such cool uh, gifts, I should say. Tracker, thank you for your package and your kind words. Guys, the next package is from Ozzy Dixon, and he is with Bearcoin CC. He's also on Twitter, Bearcoin CC. So let's make sure we subscribe, like, check out his content. He sent me a package before. He's Ozzy down there, and he writes, Dear Rob, since you appreciated this so much, I am sending another. And he had all the coins here. Hope you had a great 4th of July, which I did. Bam, and he gave me the works as well. Guys, look at this package. He sent me a beautiful 1958D wheat penny. Possible lamination problem on a 2012. Stack of 2017 Ps. A bunch of 60s uh, coins I'm going to look at. Two silver half dollars, 1968Ds. Awesome. Couple of 48 nickels, a 1950 nickel, not the Denver, but still a 50. Great, great coin to send me. A 1959, which he knows I collect, some 09s. And look at these foreigns. We've got 
a uh, five cent. Uh, this is a Netherland coin, and it is the date on this one is on the sides here, 1923. That's awesome. He sent me a 2007 Costa Rican coin. <laughs> awesome. He also included a Polish 1998 coin, which I don't have one of. A nice King George V. That's a 1933 one shilling. That's 50% silver. So we'll take a 50% silver one shilling um, uh, UK or British coin for sure. So Bear Coins, man. Another package. Another a lot of love that you sent in. Awesome, sir. I appreciate it. I'll be checking out your content like I always do. Everyone check him out. He's part of the community. And look what he gave me. Ridiculous. All right, guys. This next package said to handle with the care or open with care, which I have done. We've got a letter here, and it says, Dear Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. Hey, what is up, Rob? My name is Titan Hess, and I live in Weirton, West Virginia. I'm 16, and I really appreciate your channel. You are doing an astonishing job at presenting the appropriate way of coin box hunting. I rate you one of the top three coin hunters on YouTube. Wow. Okay, well... I appreciate that. I'm sure I have a long ways to go to be top three for everyone's uh, coin roll hunters, but you know what? I appreciate that. That's kind of you. I sent you a portrait of yourself that I drew as fan art. Okay, that's going to be kind of cool. Also, a 57 BU wheat penny. I know it's not much, but expect more mail from me in the future, even more and more shinier. <laughs> Listen, anything you get is great, especially when there's going to be a hand-drawn portrait. That's really cool. May I suggest a new intro and add an outro to your videos because you've had the same intro for a long time. Just a suggestion. Don't get grumpy. Anyway, have a great 100 years and most importantly, happy hunting. The funny thing that you said that is that I was going to plan on keeping that intro for my first one year and I hit one year on YouTube on October 28th. And then I planned on having a new intro and I have thought about adding an outro. An outro. So great suggestions. I am not grumpy. You're right. It's good to mix it up. So that's good advice. And it is probably time to get them changed. But we're probably going to wait to the one year anniversary and I'll get something together. Great uh, suggestion. Let's, oh, here's the BU penny. That is beautiful. 1957D. We'll add that up there. And let's take a look at the portrait. Rob, don't ever stop looking for treasure. Hey, you know what? That's pretty dang close. Matter of fact, holy cow, great job. Made me look a little stronger in the picture. Titan Hess. Titan, 16 years old. You got some skills on the drawing. Definitely. It's almost like looking in a mirror. I will frame that, and I'm going to put that in my coin roll hunting room. That is awesome. Thank you kindly, good sir. Man, I look better on the on the picture you sent than I do in person, but you know what? That's what portraits are for. Titan, thank you for your kind letter. Good, good suggestion. Great package, and I get to keep your two by two box for my coins. Woohoo! Anyway, thank you very much for the coin, the portrait. Check Titan out, he's awesome. All right, guys, next package up is from Julian Rue, and he has sent me a package before. What's awesome is in the envelope, he always writes, a note of gratitude awaits you. Julian, if you don't know, he is on Instagram at JCR Coin and Currency. So all you have to do is go to Instagram, type in for, in the search at JCR Coin and Currency, and you will find Julian Rue's uh, Instagram channel, and he has a lot of coin pictures, coin videos, other content. The gentleman is fantastic. I follow him um, and I like to see what kind of finds he encounters throughout the week as well. Julian wrote, Dear Rob, I continue to be impressed by both your quality and quantity and content on your YouTube channel. Your endless enthusiasm for numismatics and your positive influence on the rise in popularity of coin collecting in general. Wow, that's really, that's, that's quite the start, Julian. I appreciate that. While most YouTubers who reach the milestone of 5,000 or more start to get too comfortable with producing the same content repeatedly, you experiment with coin roll and bank strap hunts for different denominations. 
Your hunger for trying new things is an impetus for why I started searching uncirculated mint sets for coins to submit to PCGS. Often in MS66 through MS68 condition. Wow, congratulations, that's awesome. Enclosed in the package are BU 2009 pennies as well as various coin roll finds and an assortment of foreign coins. Numismatists and coin collectors like yourself remind of us all of why we collect in the first place. In a world of third party grading, price guides, and rare coins you can find in your change, you keep collecting simple and do it for the genuine love of the hobby. For your new subscribers and any other subscribers that have not yet seen your video showcasing my first donation, please follow me on my Instagram at JCR Coin and Currency if they haven't already. Thank you again for all that you've done for numismatics community at large, and I look forward to more content. Regards, Julian Rue. Julian, always well-written, well-spoken. What a class act you are. Look at what he sent me, guys. We'll start with these uh, great coins here. A 59 uncirculated penny, MS61. A 60 uncirculated penny, MS61. A 60D, MS62. A 62, MS63. A 63D, MS61. A 68S, MS61. He knows I collect P and D 2009 dimes, and I can't find great examples. And he sent me some ridiculous examples. Holy cow. Wow. And then a 2008D satin finish. Unbelievable. Beautiful coin. Beautiful. He also sent me, here's those BU 2009s. And a grip of Jefferson, old, early Jefferson nickels. Looks like 40s and 50s. Wow. Julian. Man, thank you again for the package, brother. You are awesome. Everyone check out his Instagram, JCR Coin and Currency. Man, Julian, awesome. Thank you very much, brother. Your kind words hit home. I'm glad you feel that way. I do the best I can. We do got to mix in some more quarters and dime hunts for sure. I know everyone's uh, fiending to see some of those. I just don't have a lot of luck with them. But we'll keep looking, and I've got some metal detecting videos coming up real soon. All right, everyone, the final package is from Levi Richard. And Levi writes, Dear Rob, I have been a subscriber for about four months now. I really enjoy your channel and are in my top three coin collecting channels. You, Half Dollar Make You Holla, and JB's Coin Incorporated. Wow. I have been meaning to send you a package for the past couple of months, but haven't had the time. But during your last Sunday shout out, I was given the push I needed from Garrett's Coins in order to send you them as I am also going big, I think anyway. I was also struck with the, a desire to one-up him, which I doubt I did, Levi. Have fun. My YouTube is Grape Juice Horror. Guys, let's make sure we check out his channel. Thank you for the support, Levi. Grape Juice Horror. Man, I can't wait to show everyone what, what I got in your package. Look at this, guys. Let's start off with the Wheaties. Looks like there's probably 50 wheat pennies in this stack here. Unbelievable. To save time, because I know it's a long video, I can't go through the whole thing now. There might be a few other coins in here I'll take a look at. Maybe some errors or varieties or something going on. But I'll look at that. Thank you very much, Levi. He gave me some cool foreign coins. And, man... Nothing I like more. Here's a 1933. Let's take a look at it. Looks like it's a uh, Fenning. A Deutschreich. Awesome. Love that. A Canadian. Looks like we also got a... Two pence. And what is this? Looks like it has all of the years, whether you're the year of the rat, the dragon, the rabbit. That is so cool. That's awesome. I love that. A 1919 Philadelphia Buffalo. He also sent a 44 Walking Liberty. Half dollar. This beautiful 2009, <laughs> I mean, this thing is heavy. 
I don't know if it's copper or brass. I'm not familiar. It's probably copper, but it's a 2009 coin. That's so awesome. I love that. A 1902 Indian head penny. Unbelievable. A couple of mercury dimes. A beautiful 1940 and a 43. And look at this. An 1854 seated dime. Unbelievable. And then this other coin here, it's very fragile, and I can't make out what it is. So, Grape Juice Whore, Levi, if you can let me know what this is, I can categorize it properly. I don't want to mess with it. It's pretty fragile. It's old for sure. I don't know if it's U.S. or foreign, but wow. And then, guys, check it out. He gave me a $5 star note behind this one, behind this $2 bill which you guys know I collect star notes. And a beautiful $2 bill, 2013 Series A, which I love. And then, man, check these things out right here. A US proof set from 1969. Look at the coins in here. Look at these things. Absolutely stunning. And that's 40% silver to boot. And then check this out. A Bicentennial coin set. I don't have one of these. We have a Bicentennial S quarter, Bicentennial S Ike dollar, and a Bicentennial S half dollar. And I believe, I could be wrong, doesn't say much on it, but I believe because they're estimate, they're the silver clads. Either way, awesome sets. Unbelievable. And then he also threw it for good measure. So in case I get hungry from editing this video, because it's going to be a little bit. The Healthy Pop Butter Jolly Time. Oh, yum. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Grape Juice Horror. I don't know if you one up Garrett. And I don't know if Garrett one up you. But I can't believe the amount of coins you sent me, let alone the sets. Unbelievable. I was not expecting this. Thank you very much. I'll make sure I check out your channel. I'll make sure I subscribe. I hope my viewers do the same. Wow. Well, there you have it, everyone. 17 packages in this mail call video. I apologize for the length of the video. And I also apologize for the fact that I couldn't quite do the amount of justice I wanted on everyone's packages. I really wanted to take my time and show off every coin they sent, but it would have been an hour and a half video, and I know you guys, well, I appreciate you watching anyway, and I just didn't want to give you guys so much content that you don't want to watch it. So hopefully, I've shaved this down in enough time that you enjoyed the video, that I did a good service to everyone who sent me a package, because I really do appreciate what was sent. I was never expecting my mail call to get 17 packages ever in one week. I really thought we'd get a handful of packages at most. Maybe a steady stream. Some weeks we'd get none. I was not expecting this. The amount of support and the generosity of the coin community is just overwhelming. Please check down below for the links to everyone's channels that I can find or that have channels. Check out their content. Let's support each other. Please blow them up in the comments below. I'd appreciate seeing some kind words given to some of these great uh, fellow coin uh, collectors. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.